hey y'all what it is what it was what it could be what it ain't what it wasn't was it how y'all doing say hi hi keith dinkins what's up mr dinkins in the house how you doing i survived jesus coach tomorrow i Oh, nah, nah, nah. I will survive. I survived. I survived. I need to stop. Um, what's up, Yvonne? 41. You doing good? Keep doing good over here. Mr. Dinkins, Nashawn, did you enjoy your time? At the field trip, yes. Yes. Were you happy that mommy came with you? Yes. Let me tell you this. Hey, Taylor Dean, let me tell you this. Mommy don't want to come on no more field trips with y'all. Why not? Y'all y'all bad. Y'all got some bad. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. The kids were actually pretty good. So I'm staying there and I'm talking to um, Nashawn's teacher. You know. Um, she white. Okay. So we were talking about Nishon's hair, and I was telling her the story about why Nishon is not going to um, private school anymore, and it was because of his hair. And so that got on to um, a, the little girl that was sitting next to him, and like she had some braids, like her hair was braided up, her hair was braided up, up, and then there was like a spot missing. <laughs> And she said, the church, she said, oh, she lost her hair this morning. <laughs> she said she lost, she said she loses her hair all the time. <laughs> she said it just, it just, it just comes out. It's just, she's like, I don't know if they don't braid it in um, tight enough or um, far enough. And I was so weak. When I tell you, I was I couldn't even keep a straight face. I was laughing so hard, and it's teachers like she she loses it all the time. The little girl, the little girl, <laughs> and she showed it to me, and it was like a ball, a ball of hair. So like her hair was braided up, and they put like a ball of hair on the top to make it look like a bun. And I pull it. I guess they don't have enough pins in the child's hair because she keep losing it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I said, I don't know what to tell. I said, I don't know what to tell you. You know, to my teacher, I said, you know, teacher, a white lady, and she, you know, she, she trying to be politically correct, and she's trying not to laugh herself. And I'm like, look, you can laugh because that is funny to me. You need to write a note to her mom and say, could you secure this child's hair in just a little bit more? Miss Child of God, my trip went very well. The kids were well behaved, but um, I didn't like where we went at. I did not realize that they were taking me to the plantation. Ain't nobody got no time for no old... Excuse me, y'all, but I got to tell the truth. I have to tell the truth. Ain't nobody got no time for no old white people telling me what the slaves did. Ain't none of them did. Ain't none of their ancestors did what the slaves did. Ain't none of them did anything on that plantation. Every station that we went to, it was a whole bunch of old white people. I swear they was all over 80 years old. It was old. <laughs> Talking about, and this is how we preserved food. You didn't preserve nothing. Last time I checked, the slaves over there in them, them quarters, that that old white lady was trying to imitate, that I scoped, they was the ones who preserved y'all's meals. 
Those were the ones who did. Like the last time I checked, ain't none of y'all was the entertainment on the plantation. Like none of y'all was doing the shucking, all the jiving, the dancing, the fiddle playing, or any of that. Last time I checked, yeah, the last time I checked, it was the slaves who built the mansion that they couldn't stay in. That was the that that was what I knew. Last time I checked, what did I tell you about the food? What happened? You said that the slaves had to do everything, and oh yeah, the slaves had to get had only to get the scraps of what the people ate. So that meant if they got some bacon and they had some ham and they had some pork chops, what did the slaves get? The scraps. And what were some of the scraps called? Bones. What about the intestines? What you call the intestines of the pig? The... the... Chillings. Yeah. And if they had some chicken, what they got? They had to get the bones. They got the bones, right? I teach my kids the truth. They know the truth. Ain't nobody was out there on the plantation enjoying themselves, having a good time, except for those who were living there in the big house. And the ones who lived in the big house weren't even the ones who built the big house. So I was standing there watching this old lady, this old Caucasian lady, tell me how the slaves used to go through the tobacco plants getting the worms. This is what she said. And biting the heads off. What did they say loud? Biting the heads off. Biting the heads off the worms and spitting it out. That's what she told me. And it wasn't a bad thing. It wasn't bad. They didn't taste bad. She must have tasted it if she, if she knows. Naisha was about to cuss. I was about to curse. I was about to curse. There was th there was me and two other adult black folk out there. Everybody else. Y'all see I'm chewing this gum? When I start chewing this gum like that, that means I am highly perturbed. She's stressed. I'm what? My mama's stressed. Mama's what? Mama's stressed. Mama's stressed. You not going to have me on no plantation telling me that the mama and the daddy had a bed. Lies. Where the bed go for that? Where's the bed going to fit when the area of the slave quarters was small enough for me to stand in the middle and stretch my arms from wall to wall, but they ain't got no walls no more because they tore that down because it's not worth preserving, but the big house was worth preserving. Oh, this is what is this? Oh, this what this what we gonna talk about? We gonna talk about the cooking methods, how sway y'all didn't cook. You did not cook that meal, nor did you feed the baby. Hey, Cora, I just left the plantation. Seriously, I just left a plantation with my son on a field trip. And it was horrible. And it was what? And it was horrible. My regulator, you, 
we went to Virginia. We was on a bus and we um, drove to a plantation in Virginia. It was in Woodbridge. Yep, Woodbridge, Virginia. Oh, the ponytail story. So let me tell you about the ponytail, Cora. So this little girl has some braids. And apparently she had braids in her hair all the time. But whoever does her braids does not secure in. <laughs> that she don't be, they should not be securing in this baby's braids like they're supposed to the parents. And um, she lost her ponytail. And she does like she does. She handed it over to her teacher. Black people need to make sure that you secure your children's hair. Okay? Secure in the baby's weaves. These white teachers don't know how to put it back in. And I didn't have enough bobby pins to be trying to put no ponytail back into this baby's little bun. Okay? Let her wear a little afro puff. She don't have to be adding no extra hair on there because she loses it daily. As her teacher told me, she loses it all the time and she don't know how to put it back in. So she just tells her to put it back in her backpack and go. <laughs> Child, this stuff cannot be made up. And on a plantation. And on a plantation at that. This was Cora. Cora, they had us out there. Uh, and if you see the replay of the um, the slave, the one where I was talking about the slaves, on on this plantation, there was old white people at every station telling us what the slaves did. And of course, you know that half of them like the Redskins. Be quiet, my my son. Be going <laughs> talk about they they like the Redskins. So this old white lady talking about um, the slaves used to go through the tobacco plants and pick worms, pick the worms off and bite the heads and spit it out. But it wasn't a bad thing. It wasn't a bad thing. They didn't even have a chance to taste it because they spit it out. Ma'am. Ma'am. Really? This this what we out here doing? This 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 again? <laughs> Look, I was so mad. I was so mad. I'm so serious. I'm so serious. I am so when I say so serious, I'm so serious. It was it was like she was telling the stories of how they would sleep in the mother and father. And they would have their children here in the slave quarters or a quarter, you know, a half a dozen kids maybe. But they wouldn't have anywhere to sleep or lay on. They uh, they had pallets, um, more like a modern, um, more today in modern day you would call it a sleeping bag. I was like, what? A slick? Uh, okay. And then she, she said, would you guys like to volunteer so I can show you what the slaves used to do? I said, my son bet not raise his head. I said, he bet not raise his head out here. <laughs> I put my, I put my glasses on. His teacher walked to the other side. She was, I know she felt the steam coming from my head. I know she felt it. I know she felt the sleep. And then we went to another station, the militia station. I like that one. You, he said he liked that one. Let me tell you, the militia station was the KKK station. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. I was like, wait a minute. So the do you know what the militia is? I was like, did they dress it all white? <laughs> like the army? <laughs> Y'all know I was just standing back there in the back. 
me and this uh me and the old um the one of the grandpas and one of the kids who came on the trip i was just standing in the back like all right okay i see what y'all doing hey janine how you doing miss Jadine cummins if you guys aren't following her please do follow janine she is an awesome woman of God also, just like Miss Cora. I got all the blessed women on my scope today. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Y'all stretch your hands towards your screens and play for me. Pray, pray for me because I just left some foolishness. They just had me on the plantation. And all the different, you know, spots. Um, this is the handwriting. Um, the handwriting. What was it called? Uh, shucks. Um a quote they they did it on a quote well how they were teaching them how to write i would like the slaves didn't learn how to write hi allison hi naomi i'm just it, it was like i was like really is this what we're is this is hot y'all took my baby to the plantation and then and then you had the nerve to send me then they then they had sent me a, uh, that paper talking about congratulations you have won the opportunity to be a chaperone on your son's trip to for real for real that's what we doing <laughs> telling the kids all kinds of lies I found all the lies today I found all the lies today. And the baby girl hair won't fall off. I'm like, for real. I'm so serious. How the baby hair go fall off? There's a plantation about 10 minutes from my house. They use it for weddings now. Yes, I went to a um to a wedding on a plantation where uh, a girlfriend of mine was singing. And uh, my regulator... Let, let's just say this. It was a professional football player. There was a professional football player getting married, and the entertainment were the only things of color there. And I just sat there like this. The whole time. The staff was black, though. Um, let me go. <laughs> I just, uh, the, this area, Lord. Drink it, and, uh, child. I would, mm -mm. I bought my own food and I bought my own drink. Because I don't trust it. I don't trust it. And as far back into the woods as we went, I was scared. Okay, I was a little scared. I was a little scared. Um, at that point, I didn't know that I should pray or, or just, you know, leave a trail. So I knew exactly how to get out that joint. But when it was over, trust me, I was in my car with the quickness. Let me get my life together. Tell everybody, say, have a good afternoon. Have a good afternoon. I'm so serious though. I'm so serious. Would you like to go back to that plantation? What did you say? What what Nishan told me he said if he was on that plantation, what would happen, Nishan? I said I would run away real quickly. Run away. That was that he would be running away real quick. <laughs> Ain't nobody got no time for that. And if they would have said we was gonna have a picnic on the plantation, that